What's up guys, it is Charles Rai, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Oh. Hello Isabel, thank you for interrupting my introduction. But yes, on the last episode we got here to Morville City, battled Wally and showed him what was what. And now on this episode, we're going to explore the west a little bit more. Don't worry, we will be going to the gym, but in a later episode. So... I think... Yeah, Super and Izzy will let them have the first battle. I'm gonna tag up with my super senior student partner. Okie dokie then. Senior and Junior, Anna and Meg would like to battle. Sixagoon and Makuhita. Okay. Well, I think... It would be best to take out that Makuhita first. Oh yeah, Izzy, do your thing. Perfect. And Swooper, get that Steel Wing off on Zigzagoon. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So this video probably will be coming up. If all goes to plan on the 27th or 28th of May, um, the reason that like videos have been a little bit here and there, uh, have simply just been because um, uni has university has been so um, not taxing, but like there have been a lot of things for university that I've had to do over the past couple of days, 2,000 word essays and all that sort of stuff. Um, just to note here, we have nine we uh, weapon berries in case you uh, were in need of them. But yeah, just just university made um, like recording videos and editing videos quite difficult. However, now that pretty much all my assignments are done except for um, a 500 word blog thing um, and two exams at the end of the semester, um, hopefully videos will be a lot more uh, frequent. I just uh, finished a almost two two and a half hour recording session with uh, Tim for Dark Souls, so hopefully those videos will start coming out a lot more frequently as well. But yeah, I'm looking forward to um, making some more videos. I'm currently also editing a uh, top 10. Oh well, technically it's a top 20, but I'm splitting it into two parts, so two top 10s. Which, for those of you who have been around a while, um, the topic should be a familiar one, as it was promised actually quite a while ago. But I guess you'll have to wait and see. Trainer Dylan. Oh, sorry, triathlete, sorry. Um, you're a Pokemon breeder, aren't you? Um, we'll start off with Nuzleaf, why not? But yeah, so... Yeah, hopefully... I will get a lot more videos done. We're actually getting close to finishing up uh, Dark Souls Versus, which is just pretty exciting. I feel like that's it. Like, it's been a good series. It's been a good fun series to do. And um, moving forward into, we are definitely going to be doing Dark Souls two and three later down the line. Although those series might be more like um, the series I did earlier on um, with the other team. Damn, Nuzleaf! That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Uh, Taylor, we'll have we'll have easy fight, Taylor. Yeah. So that's that's the situation in terms of videos. Um, and yeah, hopefully, especially when we get into the um, semester holidays in between um, semesters, I will be able to make even more videos. I plan to have Emerald. I plan to have Emerald finished by at least July, I'd say. I'd say that's a fairly like reasonable idea for when um, the series should be wrapping up. Dark Souls. Um, not to give any spoilers as to where we just recorded, but um, Dark Souls we might be able to finish in a couple more recording sessions. Because how we do Dark Souls is we just sit down, chug out a massive amount of episodes, and then release them weekly. 
Whereas with Emerald, I sit down, get a couple of episodes, like, try and get as many episodes as I can ready, and then release them, you know, two times a week. So I obviously have to be recording more Emerald, whereas we can spend a massive amount of time recording, like, a set of Dark Souls episodes, and then just have them, like, on the back burner for later. But I'm sure you guys aren't overly interested in that. You're more interested in just making sure the videos get out to you guys. Which they will, I can promise you that. Uh, Puchina. Oh, let's go Zubat. Let's go Zubat. Yeah, how have you guys, what have you guys been up to recently? Besides, Uni, I've gone, actually, I've actually gone back into playing, um, Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy on 3DS, and man, that game is fun. Like, I was a big fan of the Professor Layton games. My favorite would probably have to be either Lost Future or Pandora's Box, or, if you're in America, the Diabolical Box. But, um, yeah, both of those games are really, like, were really fun, and the newest one, Azran Legacy, is really good as well. I'm looking forward to really getting into that and getting to play through all of that. Um... And then, yeah, apart from that, I really haven't been up to much else other than trying to record and um, produce some more videos for you guys. Oh, this was not a good idea. No, not wrong. Uh, Izzy, you handle this. Growl. Come on. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's see if Izzy can work his magic. Oh, one more. There we go. Perfect. I have also been... I've been kind of interested in playing a little bit of Overwatch. I, I've i seen a couple of people play it on, like, stream and um, on YouTube, and it's interest... Like, it interests me. Um, and I just, like, want to know what you guys think of it, if it's worth picking up or not. I've heard a couple like I've heard a couple of friends say that it's really good and worth getting, so yeah, what do you guys think? Okay. Um Yep, so business in the lead. Cool. Uh what about all you? You look like a bug maniac. Bug catcher. Bug maniac. Call it Derek. Dust stocks. Okay, here we go. Ooh, confusion. That could potentially be very bad. Stealing is not going to do that much damage, I don't think. Yeah. Um, bite. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Pull that. Pulling out of that one. Um. Izzy. I'll send out Izzy, yeah. Oh! That was something that I need to always ask you guys. What do you guys think of the new Pokemon Sun and Moon um, trailer that we got uh, about two weeks ago? I'm, I personally kind of like it. I like the look of the region and I also kind of like the new starters that they've introduced. Um, I'm, personally, I'm a big advocate for Oh, I should have gotten rid of uh, Leech Life, but that's okay. I really like Rowlet, personally. Rowlet, I think, is my favorite. And then... I've, I've seen a lot of people, like, really hate on Poplio. Um, I'm not too fussed about Poplio. And then Litten's kind of the same thing. Litten's kind of like, yeah... Take it or leave it, really. But now, nah, also the, like... I think the Legendary for Son is also a little bit better than the uh, legendary for Moon. Just cause I like I like the design of this massive hulking lion thing. More so than the um, like moon sort of thing that they've got for uh, Moon. And down goes Beautifly. I think Zubat is actually one level away from evolving. So if I have a rare candy which I do, we actually might be able to evolve him. I, 
I'm not sure if it's 21 or 22 though, but... Eh, what the hell, if it is... If it's 22, then it's 22, and if it's not, it's not. Oh well. Nope, it was 22! So we have our final ever well, our final party member is about to evolve. Well, not final party member, but... Yes, Zubat is finally evolving. Into... Golbat! Super evolved into Golbat. Golbat is an extremely, extremely fast version of um, Zubat. Just look at that, 47 speed. Outspeeds everything we have at the moment, even um, Vigoroth. Um, its attack also uh, gets boosted quite a amount, although its special attack is actually higher than its attack. But yeah, the main thing about it is its, its speed, because this thing is a speed demon. <laughs> uh, we'll put Nuzlocke out front. And I believe you're another breeder, aren't you? Yes! You are. Breeder Lydia! Sent out a Winkle. Okay. So yes, now we finally have every member of our party has evolved at least once at this point. Um, yeah, we'll use Nature Power, because Bullet Seed, I think will be normal effectiveness. And there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I've already put down my pre-order for Pokemon Sun. Um, and if need be, I'll pick up Moon later. I normally end up getting both versions of the game. In the end, anyway. I think the only games that I haven't done that for were Pokemon Black and White. I only got White. And then for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I only got Heart Gold. But every other Pokemon game, I've always had both versions. So, Black and White 2 I've got. Um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh, and I don't have, um, Y. I only have X. Uh, da 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 out there. I didn't actually see what he was throwing out, so I could have made a big mistake. Oh, well. Oh, well, you live in line. Um, uh, Mudshot actually might be okay. Yep. We're fine. We're fine. Shroomish. Um, Golba, would you mind showing us just exactly why I have chosen you for this team? Wing attack. Goodbye, Shroomish. Yeah, this thing, this thing is a, like a monster. Marrow. Nuzleaf. I believe that is your domain. Water type Pokemon? Or your speciality? Yeah. Oh, also, I know that Fire Emblem, uh. Was it, uh. Fire, is it Fire Emblem Fates? Um. Just came out as well. I'm. I'm still trying to work through Awakening, and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna pick up either Birthright or. Um. The other one, which I can't remember the name of. But it looks. It looks interesting. I've, like, I mean, I really like Awakening, and so, this kind of interests, like, it kind of interests me. Right now, my next most anticipated game is probably Sun and Moon, at this point, because Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't have a proper release date yet. Um, Zelda U, I don't even, we don't even know when that's coming out anymore. Oh, only two hits, come on. But yeah, my most anticipated game at this point, I think, now is uh, Sun and Moon, which... I mean, let's be real, a lot of people are into, like, have that the most anticipated game now. It also, like, the region reminds me a little bit of Hoenn, because it's, if what we can believe, like, if what we've been told can be believed, it's set, um, well, it, the region is based off of Hawaii, which is a tropical region, and Hoenn is also quite a tropical, uh, region. Having said that, now we arrive in Verdanturf Town. Um, if you were playing uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this would be the place where you would be able to get, I believe, is it Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeotite? I think it's Pidgeotite, because um, there would be a Shroomish behind this sign here, and if you spoke to, is there a little girl still around here? No, there would be a little girl around here, and if you could find the Shroomish from behind the sign, she would give you a Mysterious Stone, if you took that stone back to Mr. Stone, you would get a Pidgeotite. 
but we are not playing Omega Ruby on Alpha Sapphire, so we don't have to worry about it. Just come into the Pokemon Center real quickly. Heal up, very nice. And before we end off today's episode, I think we should go and give Wally a bit of a visit. Is this... Nope, this isn't Wally's house. <laughs> this... It's this one. It's... Yep, here we go. What have you got to say? My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop, just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. I just realized there are like red dots above her eyes. That's kind of creepy. Oh, Jack. Uncle w Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. Well, isn't that just lovely? What have you got to say, Wally? I lost you, Jack. But I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my Rolts, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Jack. Watch me become stronger. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Well, I will be looking forward to it, Wally. But yes, we made it to Verdant Turf Town in this episode. Um, oh, there is the battle tent here as well. I guess we could um, go over. This is... Ah, uh, yes. So this is um a... I'll have to look it up in between episodes, but I'm pretty sure that in this battle tent, you can't give your Pokemon commands, and instead, the Pokemon um, basically give their own orders. Which is kind of interesting, but, I mean, we haven't been really been doing the battle tents, so I don't think we'll really do this one either. So, with that said, we made it to Verdant Turf Town in this episode. Um, we explored around, spoke to Wally, and in the next episode, I think we'll be coming back towards Morville City to go head on Watson and the gym. See you guys then.